What's up, gaming fans? This is Mr. Toffee from Kakucho Parade here. A few weeks ago, I was out in Tokyo, Japan to check out the arcade gaming fiesta, Jaipo, as well as the exclusive International Challenge Cup 2019, arranged by the Japanese Esports Union and the Asian Electronic Sports Federation. For this exclusive video feature, I had a chat with ASF's president, Kenneth Falk, about esports and the organization's goals to make esports great again. I believe that besides games like Asian games, Asian games only happens one every four years, right? But in between, we need to have a platform or more international events to enable uh, different teams around the world to be able to meet and to be able to compete. I think you asked me about the main goal. I, I will say this, of course there are many goals, but I think the most that I would want to happen is really to create a platform or opportunity for players to come representing their country. That is what happened in the Asian Games. You know, there are lots of esports competitions all around the year, but in most of them, they are really competing as individual or competing for themselves. But we want to be able to create more opportunities for them to feel like they are representing their region or representing their country. And this is one such occasion, you know. We're here in Japan and we have other teams such as Chinese Taipei, Hong Kong, Saudi Arabia, etc. etc. So I think it's a good platform and a good starting point, you know, building on the Asian Games to have this Challenge Cup. And on top of that, I think it's a good opportunity for pro athletes to be able to compete against each other, to build friendships. And beyond this, a lot of uh, officials are even here today. They learn from each other. You know, esports is very different from. Uh, every country and they have a different system or I think there's plenty to learn from each other so I think by hosting such an event there are a lot of purposes and gains that uh, that will will we'll have after the challenge cup we are helping the Southeast Asian Confederation to host the uh, uh, esports in the Southeast Asian uh, competition which is being held in the Philippines. So it will be the first time um, after the Asian Games, eSports will be featured in such a big um, so-called traditional sports sporting event. But it's even more exciting because it's going to be a medal sport, uh, not a demonstration sport. So I think for us, and also for eSports, it represents a next leap forward. And of course, we're also planning on the Asia Cup. Asia Cup is one of our signature events. And it's my hope that we could do more on the university level too. Uh, I think for any sport, not just esports, be it football, be it athletics, I think the school sports and the university sports is where talents are trained and made. Um, so I think it's the same for esports. We need to focus, yes, we need to focus on the pro athletes. That's, of course, is important. But we should also focus on the up and coming talents. And I think as AESF, we have to do that as well. A lot of work to be done, but uh, we are moving forward towards this direction. Esports represents the future. I really do. Esports by itself, it's it's uh, popular amongst the youth. Uh, IOC has also said that esports could provide a platform to spread Olympic values towards the younger demographic. So I think esports is gaining influence around, especially in the Asian countries. So that's why I think esports are important. But I think it's also an important move forward. I think beyond so-called our ideas of esports, I think it's also important for traditional sports to also think about how technology can enable them to grow to the next level. I'm looking at esports in a more broader sense, but I believe so because I, I believe in change. I believe people are hoping or wanting for change. They might be fans of traditional sports, but I think through technology, through virtual reality, through AR, it could really open up a wider door to traditional sports as well. I'm originally from the traditional sports world. I see what esports is possible and how can combine esports and traditional sports, I think that's an exciting step. Thanks for watching this video. 
As usual, like and subscribe to the following social media channels if you want to support our endeavors in video game awesomeness.